We got deep, you guys. Yeah, we yeah. got a podcast like this. This is this is the best podcast I think we've done. Let's imagine you're well into your 80s and you look back, and this doesn't have to just be career related, but life related. What do you want your legacy to be, Alex? Good to start with me. Uh, I'll jump <laughs> in if, if you don't have an answer. Um, <laughs> all right, I'll go. Terrifying question. So, <laughs> back in college, me and my fr- my one of my best friends, Justin, like I don't know what we weren't on drugs, but we were talking about this idea of like, yeah, it's fucking annoying how people feel like there's this certain measure of success that everyone's supposed to be measured by, and so we started having this mantra of like, you gotta go for your, like define your own success and like live up to your own potential. And I still think about that a lot. Um, like the idea of living up to your potential. And maybe that's why I always feel like there's more to do because I want to feel like I'm never at that. Um, and I think there, there's more room to grow. But what I something I've evolved over time to want is this idea of helping others use work as a medium for personal growth. And I think of it because I think through work, I was able to learn a lot about myself and how I think and develop like my intellectual curiosities and I'd love to help someone who is interested in those things use omniscient as a training grounds to develop and like become much smarter than they thought they could be and work on projects that they never thought they'd be able to work on and like make a living out of doing that and have fun doing it. If I could, if we like work can build out a a business that lets people join our universe and like have fun and grow as a person while making money. I'd be really happy uh, yeah. if, if I was on my deathbed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The way you I, said that, it's funny. I, um, there's like this intellectual idea that I, I keep coming to, which is like the stoic belief that like a legacy is, is sort of like, you, you shouldn't worry too much about your legacy because, you know, think back, like, do you know your great, great grandparents' names? Like, I don't. Um, so it's like, you're probably not going to be remembered. Um, so one part of me is, is thinking like, I don't care a ton about legacy, but I'm also lying a little bit because I do. Um, so I want to not care about legacy, but I think in the near term, like the mission really is to, you know, build, um, and facilitate connection and a great life for like my tribe, community, family, um, people in my close vicinity and like make their lives better and hopefully make some positive mark on the world. Right. And I think I can do that through business. So I think that's a great vehicle. And David, I loved your uh, response on giving people also the tools and the vehicle for personal growth through work. So I think that's actually a great legacy. But I look at it mm-hmm. on like individual touch points. It's it's not like this um, grand like I don't have a grand legacy of like you know um, getting us to um, colonize Mars or something like that. Like it's more so like who who are the people in my life that I care about and like what are the issues that I care about and how can I make my small mark in a positive direction on those things. It's like kind of controlling what I have the um, power to control. Right. Yeah, I think a lot of people can relate to that. Allie? Oh, man. Um, Well, in my small circle, I definitely want to create a life where I can be present for my family. You know, as a woman, it's definitely a different trajectory that you're just subjected to. Um. And I don't know what the future holds for me in that respect, but I do love how much like my mom was present because of the the career that she built for herself. So in like my small realm, I would love to have that same presence um, because I don't think I'll ever stop working just because I like love this stuff so much, but I I don't want it to be a, have to be a choice. Um, Mm -hmm. And honestly, like, I don't think I'll ever be the kind of person that needs like a stage. Like I don't always love being the center of attention or needing people to hear my voice, but I've always wanted to be an author. Like I have a couple like rough drafts for novels on my computer, like things that I don't have the courage yet to pursue, but I, I would love to make an impact through, through that. Um, So I hope one day like I can have the time and the space to splinter off a different kind of career in that respect. Um, The different ways I want to impact people is like TBD. I have a couple of things I'd love to help amplify um, issues and things like that. But mostly like what I think about is just creating a lifestyle where there's a lot of choice for me. Mm -hmm. Um, And I can can relate to that as a woman. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I know it affects everybody, um, but I think especially as a girl, you usually have to 
have a turning point where you go one direction or another. And I don't, I don't want that. So yeah, being omniscient can be one way I don't have to choose. The, the book thing is fascinating because uh, someone once told me it's like the, uh, the feeling that I've gotten from certain pieces of literature, if I could make one person feel that, that would be worth all the effort to write the book. Yeah. It's like and it's like, interesting I, have, way to put it. I have a pen name and everything. Like I have no interest in being like, you know what I'm saying? It's not about that. Like it's a legacy tied to me. It's more of like, I have things I want people to feel, um, things I'm figuring out myself that I'd love to help people process too. Um, and I don't know, it's, it's a, it's a whole other thing for me. Like I don't really go there a lot because I don't really know what it's going to look like, but it's, it's a goal of mine to make it part of my career one day. I love that. We got deep, you guys. Yeah, we yeah. got more podcasts like this. This is this is the best podcast I think we've done. I know. It's I super interesting. A lot about you guys. I love the philosophical stuff. You know, I just really. We are get yes. a therapist dinner. Thank you, Philip. <laughs> yeah. No fear. Trust the trust your path and process. Yeah, I think that's yeah. a takeaway. Awesome. Yeah.